Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com, and I thought I'd do a video today on a topic. The topic is conviction. Someone in the room had asked me about BBBY, that the fact that it was something that I could have called short in the room and long in the room, and I called it short in the room. I did it short. It was a short. It was a short. That's it, okay? Now, I want to talk about this in general. And the fact is that you cannot have conviction in a stock in both directions. This is so important that I almost can't believe this gets overlooked. But many day traders fail to understand this concept. You cannot have conviction in a stock to be in both directions. That's impossible. So then you have zero conviction in it. I trade when I have conviction in something, and I like to short. I prefer to short, although I will go long occasionally. But if I go long, I have conviction. It's a long if I take the trade. If I go short, I have conviction. It's short. Okay. Therefore, I'm shorting it, and therefore, I believe that the stock will go down in the day, which is how I read BBBY in the gap, and I played it short and made money to the downside. Now, I'm going to bring up the one-minute chart. This was a ninth. But the point I want to make in this general video today is not really specifically about BBBY, although I'm using it as an example. I could have picked a thousand different stocks to use in as an example. The point is, and something very, very important, which I teach in great detail in all my teachings, is that you cannot be flipping things in the different directions in the same stock or the market on the day. If you do that, you will never train your brain right to trade successfully. One of the reasons I'm a successful trader and, a, and an excellent teacher is because I have trained my brain so, so well that I'm able to see things so clearly before they happen and read them accurately and quickly in live time because of how my brain is functioning. And when you train your brain right, you can do that too which is what I'm teaching people in my class and room. But if you flip something back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you have no conviction in the stock. You won't make money that way. Could you have shorted this and made money and flipped it and gone long and it made money? Yes. Is that the proper way to trade? Absolutely not. I would never call a trade short and long than in the room. I would never tell anyone to do it. That is a horrible way to trade. And you never train your brain to read anything correctly then. People that do that never really make real money in the market. Okay? So the reality is you do not short and go long the same stock on the same day. You have conviction in one direction, whether you short it or go long it. It's up to you what you decide to do with the trade. Okay? In the case of BBBY, I had conviction it was a short. I shorted it. I got out at the perfect place and was done. And then you could have reshorted it, actually. Okay? Now, it flipped and went over the high into 1015, which is this bar here. But there was no proper long setup in this on the day. My point is, train your brain to do the correct actions for you to make money in the market. Many day traders don't want to do that because they just want to uh, flip and flip and flip and go back and forth and try to make money in small little moves here and there, wiggly jiggly. That I, I would never be able to take the risk monetarily or size that I do if I traded like that. It would be insane, actually. It, it would be insane. Like, let's just pretend that I took 100,000 shares short of this. I didn't. But I'm just saying my potential uh, for sizing is, is I could take way more size than I am right now. Okay. Let's just pretend I did took 100,000 shares of this. All right. Do you think I would take 100,000 shares of this and exit this here and then flip around and go 100, take 100,000 shares long? That would be insane. The way that I trade is actually so accurate, so specific, so detailed, so reinforced. I have such a high level of conviction and confidence in what I know and do, which is why I'm aggressive in my trades and get the best price possible in my entries and make money consistently, is because I could actually, I could actually run and manage a hedge fund. But day traders that are flipping in and out, in and out, long and short, long and short, killing it and shorting it and buying it, could never run a hedge fund. I would never want anyone to like that to even work for me in a trading desk. I would fire anyone that did that. If anyone ever came and worked for me, if I ever ran a live trading desk, and I ever hired a traders to work underneath me, 
If I ever did that, which who knows, anything's possible. I could run a trading desk for traders. If I ever did that and someone went short something, flipped it and went long or vice versa, I would fire them. There, that is awful trading. And you cannot consistently make money in the market like that and you never train your brain right. You never, you never know what conviction is. You never feel it. You never know it. It's not part of you. It is in my blood. It is part of my cell, cells. It's part of my brain. This is how I am so accurately able to call BBBY, which I shorted here, and put the stop at the right place. And it kept me in it when I went over the high of the day twice and I stayed in the trade and got the short and got out at the right place because I have trained my brain to see well, to see that BBBY was a short on the live day here and knew the numbers because I've trained my brain for the numbers to accurately rate price action well. And I can do the same thing long, okay, although I prefer to short. It's one of the reasons also I've been able to call the market when I say the market, I mean the QQQs and the SPY so accurately because I have trained myself how to read gaps, bullish and bearish, to be able to call the market that it's going to continue to make a new high and rally and go to the numbers I said this year. So I'm seeing things way ahead in the chart because of the way that I have trained my brain. And that is so powerful. That is so powerful. And I talk about the brain in the gap class. And I talk about it in the wealth manifestation class in great detail, actually. But if there's anything that I can steal in you, it is do not go short and go long the same stock on the same day. I don't care what you do. I don't even care what strategy you train, whether it's gaps or not. I That is terrible trading, okay? You will never train your brain right. Not only that, you have no conviction. You have zero conviction if you're going short and long the same stock the same day. You have you don't have any conviction at all than what that stock's going to do, or you wouldn't be doing two different directional biases. And it's not about whether or not you could make the money. In the bigger picture, listen to what I'm saying, and this is it for the night then. This is not about whether or not you could have made money. I could point out a million things in the market that I could have gone long or could have gone short if I did it here or there or there or there or there, okay? It's about knowing, knowing, knowing that if you take it at this price and knowing that if you get out at this price, you did the right trade and you made money. It's not about guessing. I am predicting, knowing, and having 100% conviction that if I take it here as a short, it's going to go here, okay? There's no staying power when you don't have the conviction. This is why people end up scalping. And they're basically, basically people who do this are scalpers. They're not momentum traders, but it's still a poor, poor way to train your brain. You're taking too much risk, okay? And it makes no sense. You're never with the person or the money that's controlling the stock. You couldn't be. You couldn't be with anyone who's controlling the stock if you're going to directional biases because at any point in time, and this is very important. Now listen to what I'm saying, okay? At any one given point in time, there's only one person controlling the stock or the market. That's it. On any given point in time, on any given day, there is only one power at hand in control. One. So that means if you take opposite directions in it, you're against the control of whoever is controlling it on that live day. And you're not going to consistently make money if you trade like that. So you do not go two directions in the same stock on the day ever or the market. You have conviction. You know what that is. You'll never get it if you don't learn. And I'm teaching people how to have it. Great class this weekend. Really, really good questions. The questions I got were good questions. This is a carry on through here now to reinforce the conviction of everything. Have a great week, everyone. Earnings season is finally here. Spring is finally here. It's going to be a fantastic week. It's just going to be an absolutely fantastic week. I just have a feeling. Have a great night, everyone. If you're interested in more information on the next Golden Gap class and you really want to learn how to trade stocks in the right direction, train your brain, and get conviction, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great night, everyone.